Their voices together help shine a light to expose a serial predator and take down a code of silence at Michigan State. Tonight, 120 of the survivors of Larry Nasser have their sights set on a new target. They say interim MSU president John Engler has to go and he has to go now. The survivors now join a host of lawmakers and two trustees calling for his resignation. And those survivors all signed a letter today explaining why. I'm sick and tired of being ignored by this board. I'm, I'm going to ask my questions right now. I have uh, are, three for you. Yeah. First and, who, and who are you? From day one, John Engler's interim presidency at MSU has been controversial. Survivors who have voiced their opposition to Engler in the past today put it in writing. There is no debate. President Engler has failed miserably. Survivors making it crystal clear Engler must go and why. President Engler's statements and behavior are subtle threats against anyone who dares to speak up against their abuser. President Engler then tried to back up his statement saying, No, 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 Survivors say moments like that prove that President Engler has only reinforced the culture of abuse at MSU. And when recently disclosed Engler emails revealed he suggested Nasser's first public accuser may have been looking for a kickback, it started a new round of demand for change at MSU. Future and current survivors who deserve justice should know they can raise their voice without being characterized as pawns, too foolish to know they are manipulated. Therefore, it is our position that MSU cannot move forward and become an institution of integrity and safety until John Engler is no longer president and a new interim leader who will stand against an abusive culture is found. That letter also has some pointed words for each individual trustee who hasn't spoken out against Engler. I called all of them today for comment, and the only one who called back or answered was George Perlis. He declined to say if he was supporting Engler uh, one way or the other, and he quickly ended our phone call. You can read the entire survivor's letter at clickondetroit.com.